Greetings. Today we're going to set up an NetN account from scratch. We are at nnn.io and this is the home page. So we're going to go ahead and click on get started. And uh, this is uh, assuming you have never made an account, right? So I'm going to create a new account. So I submitted my password and I also put in a um, acronym for my workspace and um, that just takes less than a minute. At this point, you have an onboarding form. Once you've answered those onboarding questions, you can go ahead and invite team members to your workspace. So now we can start automating. Okay, and here we are in the homepage. So we can either start from scratch or it's just a simple AI agent example. So we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch. This is what you first see, a blank canvas, right? Now, uh, you can go ahead and experiment. On the right, you know, they give you options. If this is your first time really interacting with a platform like this, I recommend that you instead watch a YouTube tutorial. Uh, I have several tutorials on NNN and being able to use it for attracting pain points, let's say from Hacker News or doing a marketing research analysis using Reddit. Here's an example video with chapters that can e make it easy for you to just learn along the way. In this particular video, we're gonna be using the AI marketing agent that I made that targets people that wanna save time and get reports that are filtered for their niche straight to their email, okay? And uh, over here, I'm telling you what I'm offering. This is a tool that can save you anywhere between five to 10 hours a week, assuming you spend that time actually on Reddit because it does the job for you in a matter of minutes. So I downloaded the JSON file that comes with this package. So to upload this file that I downloaded after purchasing, I just go up here on the top right at the three dots and I import from the file. And we're gonna go to downloads. We're gonna to go to downloads and here's the file. You can see the code, I just open it. So here's our workflow. We can see that it's all almost ready to be used. The thing that is missing are currently the credentials. When you see this exclamation mark and triangular sign, there's an issue and they're telling you what the issue is. And what you do is you just right click, you open it up and then it's gonna say select credential. So we're gonna create a new credential and they're gonna ask us for an API key, which is a fancy word for saying a password to talk to a particular program that is a service that we're using. In this case, this is an open router account. It's a service that we use to use LLMs, use AI models that we can send texts to. I recommend OpenRouter.ai as a service for providing access to LLM models or AI as we call them these days, where you submit your text and you get output or even images from the model. Once you create an account, the generation of an API key is quite simple. You would go ahead and create an API key and you would name it, let's say, test Reddit agent. And that's it. Over here, you copy this and you paste it over. One thing to note is that I'm going to delete this after this tutorial because I don't want anybody using it. Otherwise, they're going to rack up expenses on my expense. So the best practice is to keep this key like you would with like your house keys private only to yourself and paste it in here. Now we need to connect to our Reddit node. I've already done this, but I'm going to show you how you would do it again. You want to create a new credential and you want to set this redirect URL to the app that you're going to create, right? And the client ID and the client secret are merely just the identifier and the password respectively for that app that we're going to create right now. So we're going to go ahead at reddit.com forward slash press forward slash apps. We're going to create another app and the name of it will be test agent. Okay. And we're going to choose web app. The description and about URL, they can be nothing. The redirect URI though has to be the OAuth redirect URL. This uh, link is being used by the app to go back to it and with the information that you've created. We're gonna say I'm not a robot, create the app. And over here we have the client ID. We're gonna copy it over here. And we have the client secret. And we're also gonna copy it over, connect the account. Now we get a new window that says, do you allow? Yes, I do allow test agent. And the connection is successful. Next, you wanna configure open router here as well. 
Uh, the first time, all you do is just really come in here and it's automatically going to go into the operator account we set up just a moment ago. Next, we want to set up our G Sheet. We want to again connect to our Google account and set up credentials. The auth to is recommended. That just merely means a, a window will come up saying, do you want to authorize connect to this account? I'm going to choose my email address. I continue. Connection successful. Uh, in your version where you're starting from scratch, you have to set here an ID to a G sheet. You create a G sheet and you know every G sheet is sheets.google.com forward slash spreadsheets forward slash D and then an ID, right? You take that string and you put it in here. And then automatically you have the tabs that are part of the sheet come up, right? I've named my tabs already. The same thing would happen here with your Gmail, right? You would go ahead and connect to a Gmail account. We just did it with G Sheet. We're going to go ahead and see the results that came in my email. All right, amazing. We have a nice report over here, really well formatted. They have the post with a number of upvotes. The date it was generated, so the 23rd of March. Summary of it is right here. Over here is the actual post. So it looks like a really formative uh, set of lists that one can use, like some Reddit posts that one can go in perhaps and use for lead generation as well for games, tech, and such. Nice. Actually, it's a quite useful find. Uh, in any case, uh, what we saw is, again, like, you know, setting up an account from scratch. You ran an AI marketing age workflow. We configure the credentials. This you only have to do once per account.